Here they are then, our two machines beaten already tonight. Tornado and Exterminator. Are they fit enough to compete? Third and fourth. Team Tornado, I see that, Andrew, you've got your arm protectively around <laughs> Tornado. <laughs> it's taken a bit of a battering so far, but uh, the damage has been OK. It's still going well. Still it's ready going to well. go. You are now in the Eliminator for the third place. Mm -hmm. You are up against Exterminator. They are working round the clock to try and fix that machine after yeah. Typhoon did the damage. Do you think they'll, they'll get ready? I think they're going to be very tight on time. They took a lot of damage, and although they're, they're working all out to get it fixed, I don't think they're going to get everything done. It's going to make our job a lot easier. That was an amazing battle out there. Yeah. You took some damage, though. What happened? Um, the biggest problem in that particular fight was the it hit us very hard, and it's, it's fried both the batteries. It's, the batteries are both dead. I mean, it looks twisted. It looks beaten up, but you, it's only superficial damage. It's only superficial, and the disc will be working again for the next fight. Does it look OK to you? Exterminator. The machine of Marlon Pritchard and Simon Baldwin. Well, they look confident enough. Tornado. Seems to have stripped fitter for this playoff. For me, anyway. Tornado. The reign of champions over for Andrew March and David Gamble and Brian Moss. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, Matilda making her first appearance in this grand final. And Sir Killalot. Three, two, one, activate. This for third place then. Tornado quickly on the attack. Can get up to 10 mile an hour top speeds. Not great, but it's the fact it'll push all day long that makes it such a strong competitor. And I don't think Exterminator was ever going to be fully ready for this playoff. They came into the arena. They talked the talk. They couldn't walk the walk, could they? In trouble straight away. That spinning disc isn't working. And I think they Or is it? Yes, it is now, look. Just beginning to crank up through the speed, the spinning disc. Biting into Tornado. Scratching the front scoop. Bashing away. Not fully operational. Not at its best as an exterminator. Oh, and turned over. I think by a combination of a Tornado push in one direction and Matilda's flight... Wheel spinning tail in the other direction, but they're OK. Or are they? Look at Tornado. Poor old Exterminator taking some damage again. They've got hydraulic spikes out of the side, by the way, if you're wondering what those cones are all about. Not greatly impressive, but the spinning wheel has been throughout this championship. Oh, and I think that's a bit of a kill that's come off. They're taking a bit of a kill lot's armament off. Well, that's a trophy. They want to take home. Tornado on the attack, though, relentless as ever. And another slam from Tornado. Exterminator. How are the batteries in this playoff? Tornado still chugging away. The pit descends. Tornado. Not first place in the seventh wars. Third, some consolation. As a little bit of a nut or a bolt goes running across the arena floor. Pushed into the CPZ. <laughs> With a pit release tyre. Tornado wants a little bit of that as well. Matilda's thinking about coming in. Oh, there's something shiny on the wheels of Tornado. Is that hydraulic fluid? Is that oil out there? They can't get any traction. They can't get out of the CPZ. But Exterminator won't be able to draw them into any more peril because they're about to be counted out. Out they go, Exterminator finished fourth. Tornado third. And Matilda can wreak havoc. Cease. Explosive bronze medal, a place on the podium. Third place goes to Team Tornado.
But you'd be happy if you never saw Matilda again. Yeah, we were cringing a bit there. <laughs> you had a lot of repairs to make. Yeah. To the robot. Yeah. After the fight with Typhoon. We've got most of it together. I don't, I don't know whether that's what's affected it now. It um, cut out on us. All the drives cut out. Um, but even so, the weapon was working splendidly well. Yeah. Right. It was going all right. They're a hard, hard robot to fight. They dog you down all the time, don't they? You've got, you've got to be there attacking. Or... It's like an energizer bunny, isn't it? It just keeps coming out. It goes on and on and on and on. It's like a piston. Yeah. You're great competitors. We love having you in Robot Wars. We hope all that damage isn't going to cost too much and isn't going to stop you coming back no, we'll for back. more carnage. Let's hear it. What a robot team. Exterminator! Well, you go out on a high, at least. <laughs> yeah. Having your mate Dave sold all your secrets <laughs> to Storm, and um, the masters got taught lessons from the students, really. When you were trying to get them in the pits, mm. um, I noticed that your wheels were just spinning and they were all wet. What was all that? Matilda managed to clout the side of Kill-A-Lot, and so there was hydraulic oil leaking out of Kill-A-Lot all over the place. And we were sitting there, we had full throttle on, and Tornado was going nowhere. All yeah, the wheels were spinning. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, they were great champions. They're a great robot. They're great guys. Go ballistic for Team Tornado! Yeah!